Today, I'm gonna do a simple tutorial for you, and that is how to get your level 1 Burgig plot onto level 2. So the way we do this, if you have no idea and want to skip the tutorial, you can simply just press on the house on, the, on your Burgig plot and see what is needed. So all of these stuff here are needed for you to be able to upgrade to level 2. If you're stuck on something, hang along and I'll show you what exactly you need to build to be able to upgrade to level 2 burgish plot. Let's follow this. We have 5 houses here and they need water access. So you have, we have a well right here. So it's pretty close by. To build a well, you are going to the construction, you are going to the residential and we have well right here. One important thing here is to actually build well on the blue lines. So this is underground water, underground rivers, and you need your well to be on the, on the blue on the blue area. So when that's built, it's pretty cheap to build, so you should definitely do that. If we go back and see what else we need, we need a church level one. So at least one wooden church. We have wooden church in the construction, residential, and then here we have wooden church. We need five logs, twenty planks, and ten I. Uh, stone that is stone so i've placed my church here and as you can see i need a few more things to build one thing we haven't at all is stone my stone is right here and this is what the icon for the stone is if you don't know where your stone is you can zoom out and you should hopefully see this icon a lot more clearer but now we are gonna get some stone First, we need a stone camp, stone, stone cutter camp. If we go into the construction and mining, we have stone cutter camp. So here I am placing it just next to our stone and it will, done, it will be done really quickly. We also needed 20 planks. And for that, we need, see here, if we go into the construction, gathering, and we have saw pit. So it turns timber into planks. I have my saw pit right here. So it's close to my logging camp and forest or so. Let's add a fem. Oh, not yet. Let's, let's allow them to build right here. Stone camp is done. Let's add a family to the stoning. And let's add a family to our saw pit. So as of right now, we can build anything, but we'll just wait a few minutes and collect all the materials we need for our wooden church. If we look here, I am at 12 speed, but as you can see, Collecting stones is really quickly, and we needed only 10 of them, so let's pause that. We don't need any more. And let's reprioritize and have some people in the saw pit, and also logging camp. Thanks are being transferred right now. We, I think we have enough. And then we need a couple of stone, which is really close by. Eight, and... Come on, one more stone. There we go, we have 10 stones, perfect. So the church is now being built, and if we look at our burgage plot, very soon we'll see this check mark being marked. 99%, the fence is done, the entrance is done, and there we go. Those two basic things are now done. Now we have to have one fuel stall, we have to have one food stall, or two food stalls, so we need two different food types, and we need one clothing store. Store. The way we do it, we go into the buildings, we go into residential again, and we have marketplace right here. And for this, we don't need a big marketplace, we can have a pretty small one. So what I'm thinking is having something like, let's see, something like this, go all the way around, and we're gonna have total six market. It's maybe a bit too small. Let's hang on. How about here? We're gonna have. 13 all right that's decent that's decent so let's let them build and now we see these houses so these have these houses have some vegetables they can come here build a stall and sell their fruits we have a bit more vegetables right here as well we needed to have fuel stall so the firewood from woodcutter lodge will also be sold in the marketplace and the last thing we need is clothing stall for that we need hunting camp. When hunters go out and hunt, well, they bring animals, meat, but also leather. And for us, if we go into the storehouse, here we can see we have 11 hides. So that's good. 
Now, if we go into construction, we have industry and then we have tannery. Workers use hide to produce leather, which is exactly what we need. So let's place that somewhere close by here in our industry area. Maybe something like that. Perfect. And the first marketplace is now done or built. So here we have some food, food stall. Perfect. Look at that. Food stall supply is one. That's the first thing. And very soon we'll have a few more stalls and can actually meet the requirements to upgrade to level two burgage plot. Oh, and now we have both stalls with different food types. We have some bread, some berries and some meat. Exactly what we need. Here we can see the second stall being built and that's the closing stall. Let's zoom in a bit here and see what it looks like. There we go. So here our villagers can buy clothing. Nothing right now, but very soon they'll have a few, few things. And our tannery is working, so we have in our building two hides that are not yet processed. And we have two leather that are processed. And here we have somebody working on the leather. So that's exactly what we need. And now we can also put somebody to work in the woodcutter lodge to create some firewood for our people and the fire or the fuel stall. And there we go, our third stall is done. Firewood stall is right here. Let's now see you us getting the last check mark here. There we go. And of course, not all houses will get the check marks straight away. They also need to transfer, for example, fuel from the stall to the houses. So when they get the, the things they need, then the check marks shows up like this. All right, so my game crashed and I have lost uh, a few minutes of playing, but it's okay. So things might look slightly different, but we are back where we were. So we have three souls again. We have tannery right up there. And well, soon we'll get the food supply, uh, food stall supply. So we are almost where we were. And there we go. We have come to our goal. So upgrade to level two and it's upgrading right now. So this is, well, we need builders for that. The logs, the timber will be transported and it will, well, the plot will be level two in a few minutes. There we removing a few things. It's adding a few things. We are halfway done. And by the way, the reason you want to have level two is because you will get regional wealth. So you will get a coin, I think they are called, this thing here it will increase because you are taxing them. And here is our level two, or level, yeah, level two burger plot. So it's a lot nicer. This looks like a basic house, probably working just fine for them, but this is a lot nicer. And then for level three, we need tavern supply, we need bigger church or upgraded church are still the same. And the basics right down here, you need, well, one more clothesline, but it's all, one more brand. And yeah, it's that easy to upgrade your burger plot to level two. Thank you so much for watching, subscribe, and check out my other Manalord video. See you next time. Bye-bye.